Hey guys, so I don't know like what got into my brain and then I suddenly feel like googling spider bread I mean like before that I uh, actually googled tarantula bread but like the results uh, are like disgusting So yeah, I was like, okay spider bread then So this is what popped out and they actually look super cute And I might try to make one I guess but I don't know like I'm not good at baking but I'm just a curious person so like let us try to make it first off we have to heat up our milk to reach 110 degree Fahrenheit uh, this is a cup of milk I use uh, non-fat milk because that's the only thing that I have in the house and after it reaches 110 we just pour it to the mixing bowl and I'm going to add some sugar like it's just a tablespoon of sugar as a whatever food for the yeast so they can uh, create gluten faster that's what I read from the internet so I'm just going to add a packet of yeast this is like around 11 gram of like uh, dried yeast and I'm just going to like stir it real quick after this I'm going to add 400 grams of bread flour this is the one with the highest protein level because uh, I think it will make the bread softer next I'm putting one whole egg after this I'm just going to knead with my standing mixer but if you don't have a mixer you can actually knead it by your hand but it's just a lot of like arm workout so that's a no from me I'm just going to use my mixer with the this door hook After I need it for around 5 minutes, as you can see the bowl is clean, I'm adding 2 tablespoons of like oil or a melted butter But because I'm so lazy to melt the butter, I'm just using a 2 tablespoons of oil so, And I need it again for around 2 minutes and after that, this is the end result, I'm going to cover it in a damp towel And I'll just leave it to rest you have to make sure that the dough is uh, around 2 or 3 times bigger and this is like after I leave it for around 1 hour and I'm just going to knead it again real quick to even out all the gluten so I'm just getting a baking tray and I dust it with a little bit of flour, the bread flour and I'm just going to knead it real quick to even out the gluten and then after that I'm going to shape it to the spider tarantula is kind of bread wish me luck guys because like this is actually the first time me attempting to make something like this after i finished knitting it this is the time for me to finally shape the dough to become a tarantula or spider okay so i hope everything will turn out well So here's the result guys and I'm just going to cover it and let it rest. After resting the dough for another one hour, as you can see it has risen up and I'm just doing the neck wash on the bread so when I bake it, it will look shiny. Uh, the egg wash I make with one whole egg and I beat it and then I mix with uh, one tablespoon of milk and I just use my silicone brush to do the egg wash so here's the result guys I'm actually happy with the outcome the bread looks super shiny and I think the, the shape is perfect it somewhat looks like a spider which I'm happy about it So I just used this food coloring marker to actually draw some eyes to make it look cuter.